Welcome to the introduction to the data step in SAS tutorial. In this tutorial you'll learn how to manipulate data from one data set, change some attributes of the data, and export it to another data set. That way you can work with this new data set that has the attributes that you would like. I've already imported data in to SAS and to the left in my Explorer window you can see there's a data set there called Demand. If I open it up you can see that it has price and demand, which is a simple economics example. I'm going to close this now. See, so I have two columns, price and demand. Well, let's look at price and demand. So I'm going to use PROC GPLOT. My data that I am interested in is the demand data set. I'm going to plot demand on price. Notice that those were two columns in the data set. Demand was one column, price was another column. I'm going to run this and don't forget your semicolons at the end of every line. Now if you click the running man or the submit button you'll get the picture. Now from here you can kind of notice that this has a non-linear attribute to it. This is not a straight line, even though you could visualize it and say, well, maybe that is a straight line. It's really not a straight line. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our editor. And we're going to use the data step to hopefully straighten out the data. All right, the data step works by typing in data. Now this is the name of your new data set. So we're going to call it demand2. Set comes next. This is the set which you are reading the data from. Okay, so this is demand. I'm going to make a new column. I'm going to call it LN demand. This will be the natural log of demand. Notice I'm putting semicolons at the end of every single line. I'm going to run this. If I just highlight what I want to run, it will run only that portion of the code. I don't have to run everything again. I can simply highlight what I want to run and submit that. So I submit it. It doesn't look like anything happened. But if I come over and look in my Explorer window, I see that I have another data set in here called Demand2. I'm going to open that up. Notice that Demand2 has the columns price and demand. Those were the same as what was in the demand data set. But in addition, it has another column called LN demand, natural log of demand. And you can see the values that are there, and they are out to uh, a horrid amount of decimal places because SAS calculated those. All right, I'm going to close this now, now that you have some understanding of what this data set looks like. Now what I want to do is actually get a picture of it. So I'm going to do another PROC gplot. My data now that I'm going to be interested in is demand2. I'm going to plot ln demand versus price. I'm going to run. And in SAS, after using some procedures, it's helpful to have a quit statement. Otherwise, SAS actually keeps the procedure running, and it takes up some resources, and it doesn't allow you to look at your data uh, and other problems. All right, I'm going to simply highlight this, because this is all I wish to run. I'm going to push the Submit button. Push the Submit button, and it looks like nothing happened. Well, isn't that the picture I had before? Well, if you look at the scroll bar here, you can see that there's another picture hiding under it. Now, if I look at this picture, this picture is a straight line, if you look at that. That line or that data looks very linear versus the old picture, which is here. So keep this in mind. The SAS data step gives you the ability to transform your data to do various things with it. You can add columns together. You can subtract columns. You can find minimums and maximums. You can do all sorts of things in the data step. This is supposed to get you an introduction to the data step. 
and give you some sense of how it works. So I'm going to go over this again. The first line is data, and that's the name of your new data set, the data set that we're writing the information into. Set is the old data set, where we're reading the data from. Below that goes any particular commands that you want to execute to change the data set. And after that, you have the run statement. And also, don't forget your semicolon. Well, this has been the introduction to the SAS data step. If you have any questions, please ask or watch this video again.